the image of blacks that we get in film is no way in any shape or form anything like what white folks get from film. One of the reasons is that for the most part the industry is controlled by white folks. See, at least they make movies for white people to enjoy. Real movies with plots, with, with actors, not rappers, with real names. Like, like, like you know, like, you know, catch me if you can. You know, like, save it, Private Ryan. Black movies don't have real names. You get names like Barbershop. That's not a name, that's just a location. Barbershop, cookout, car wash. They've been making the same movie for 40 years. That's right, you know laundromat's coming soon. And after that, check cash and play. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black. The real question everybody wants to know, everybody wants to know in the world, is this Hollywood racist? Is Hollywood racist? You're damn right Hollywood's racist, but it ain't the racist you th that you've grown accustomed to. Hollywood is sorority racist. You have to be colored to be on television. You can't. Yeah, colored? Yes, that... you can't be black. You have to have a little colored in there. <laughs> just a taste. Tad. Yeah, just to keep it interesting to America. Yeah. Neely Fuller has said, there are four possible ways that a victim of a system can respond. They can submit, they can cooperate, They can resist, or they can engage in destruction of it. When it comes to movies, dude, you can't control that unless you got your own money, unless you got your own money to make movies. I mean, Hollywood is Hollywood, dude. It's not, it's the belly of the beast, man, when you get into that game, man. There's a lot of people, that's another thing about Hollywood. You know, if you're Tom Cruise, you're the president. You owe. And if you want to be the president, man, you owe somebody. You don't get there without owing somebody. You know, you owe somebody favors. The fear of clocks. The fear of time. How's the cost of living? Ain't that much time now? I've got to bump you now. I take what I've been giving. What do you think that these executives are afraid you're going to do to white America? Um, probably uh, stop some racism. Stop racism? Yeah. They're probably afraid of that because then people, people don't hate each other and people start talking to each other and then they start talking to each other they find out <clears throat> who's the problem. Which is? Uh, greedy people. Greedy people.